Now there was a lot of cool action figures released in the 90s, but there were also a lot of bad, stupid ones that we've forgotten about. Let's take a look at 10 action figure lines for the 90s that you probably have forgotten about. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you to tell you about action figures from the 90s that you've probably forgotten about. Or, at night you wake up wishing you would forget about. These aren't great action figure lines. You can see why people don't talk about them today. the uh, day. As just a reminder, we've got a lot of sales going on over at JunkManMerch.com where you can get new shirts like this one or even that one right there. You want to get some for Christmas, right? You know your wife will look hot in this one. Or your boyfriend will look good in that one. So let's start talking about forgettable action figure lines from the 90s. And I'm going to start with one that Hasbro really took the ball to run with. They knew what kids were into. They were already always good about what kids were into. And they knew kids loved two things. Cows and westerns. And they hated boys. So they dropped the boys and gave us Cowboys of Moo Mesa. An action figure line of cowboys that were cows. And it left us scratching our heads that we still wonder about today. Why wasn't this called Cow Calves of Moo Mesa? I don't know, but it wasn't called that. Oh, wait a minute, I'm doing a top 10 list. Hold on. Oh, I can't do a, uh, I can't do a top 10 list without my trusty note cards. I mean, they got it right here. You know, I can't remember this stuff at the top of my head. I'm not a genius. Okay. So let's go, we're at number nine. Now, Moo Mesa, I remember that one in my head. But now we're at number nine. And it's from Mattel. Mattel thought everything was better if it was extreme in the 90s. They turned G.I. Joe to extreme G.I. Joe. That's right, build him up, pour, put more muscles on him. That wasn't even Mattel, was it? That was Hasbro, I'm sorry. You can tell me in the comments that you're right. But it didn't matter. Toy companies wanted to make everything extreme. And Mattel was seeing what success Hasbro was having with their Jurassic Park line. And they said, hmm, how can we make dinosaurs even cooler? Well, we'll make them extreme. And we'll come up with the crafty name of calling them Extreme Dinosaurs. I don't know how they came up with that title. But in 1996, they released the Extreme Dinosaur action figure line. Do you remember Extreme Dinosaur? I bet you don't. But I bet you will see you did. Let's see what else we got. This is going to be a good one here. Did you know Radio Shack had a line of action figures? Well, there was only two in this line, and it was a ripoff of Robocop called Galactic Man, which sounds kind of better when you think about it. I mean, come on, you're playing with your toys, and you're thinking, hey, what you playing with? I'm playing with Robocop. Oh, that sounds boring. Little Timmy, what you playing with? Galactic Man. That sounds awesome. Now, there was two different ones. There was the rip-off silver one that looked like Robocop. Silver, gray, whatever you want to call it, that looked like Robocop. And then they had another one that was kind of like a girly boy red color. No one wanted that. That's the one you bought because you couldn't find the one you wanted. And I doubt that one sold really well. But yeah, Radio Shack had a line of action figures. Or again, two action figures. That was a ripoff of RoboCop. How they didn't get sued, I don't know. But they did. That didn't throw good. Let me try that again. Well, that didn't sell good. Okay. Where are we at now? Let's see. Whew. Playmates. Playmates was huge in the 90s. Not only did they have Star Trek, they also had Ninja Turtles and Sequest action figure line. And they decided to take the classic Universal Monster figures and hip them up to the kids of the 90s by releasing Monster Force in 1994. And not only did you get some monsters like Dracula redone in a hip, cool way, you got a rip-off Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy way back in 94. Playmates, ahead of their time. Now, here's an action figure line that was guaranteed to get you a spanking because... Your mom would say, I'm not buying that for you. It looks messy. And within 10 minutes of having it at home, you would have a mess all over your carpet or all over your new clothes. We're talking about oozers from 1991. What are oozers? Do you remember this toy line? Well, they come with a tube of blood. I guess it was supposed to be blood. And you could squeeze it out and put it on the figures. I don't know exactly what you did with it. But one thing you didn't do with it was get it on the carpet. But you did do that with it. But you didn't supposed to do that with it. Or we'd get it on your clothes. And you remember that time you got it on your Aunt Sunday shoe collection? Oh, my God. You thought you wouldn't be able to sit down for a week. Whew, 1999's. Oh, no. What? 1999's Oozers figures. Please tell me you forgot about those. You blocked that out of your mind. I'm sure. Let's see. Look at this one. From 1992, huh, the gods must have action figures also. That's right. 
12 action figures came in this line, and it's good they didn't do more because 12 won the title. 12 greats of Olympia. That's right, Apollo, Zeus, the gods all had to have an action figure, and they got one with this action figure line that I bet most of you don't remember at all. I've never seen these at all, to be honest with you. I've never seen these, never played with them. I don't know any kid that played with them, but I wasn't a kid of the 90s, so maybe that's why. Maybe you're like, I was a kid of the 90s, and all my friends had this one, but I doubt it. I doubt you've ever seen it before. But you'll tell me in the comment section that you had it. You'll probably say your uncle worked for the toy company that made these, and he brought boxes of them home for you. I got a lot of people that say that. I didn't know so many people had relatives that worked at Kenner that brought home free Star Wars toys back in the 80s that was until I had a YouTube channel and then it's like every other person I know had a friend a cousin or a next door neighbor that worked at Kenner and they brought home a lot of free toys that were mostly prototypes and unreleased figures Whew. it's surprising anything even got to the store there was so many employees bringing home free toys let's see what we got right here 1991 you needed a gimmick if you was gonna sell some toys and this toy company loved to make action figures talk in fact they got a little carried away with it in 1991. They released Voice Squad, which is also released under the name Voice Patrol. And if that wasn't enough, they had a G.I. Joe rip offline called Voice Command. That's right, Voice Command. Okay, stop the video. I know I'm wrong. The G.I. Joe rip off one that talked was called Fighting Talk. But they also did a line called Video Command that talked. And they even had an alien talking line. Yep, a space alien talking line called Space Attack. This toy company went crazy with the talking toy gimmicks. Now, I actually remember these being a toy us. They was big and plastic and bulky looking. They looked really cheap. I don't know how they sound. They had a little speaker on their chest. It felt like plastic. I bet it didn't sound too good. But look, we've got another one to talk about. There's one thing kids were screaming for in the 90s. Give us action figures based on a movie starring Jamie Lee Curtis or Alec Baldwin. No, not Alec Baldwin. William Baldwin. Yep, that's what kids really wanted, and it didn't matter what movie. Any movie these two were in, they wanted an action figure line of it, and they got it in 1999 with Virus. Virus. An action figure line based on the movie Virus. That's right. Not only do we not remember the action figure line, we don't remember the movie either. Who ever heard of a movie called Virus? With, okay, again, in the comic section, you're going to tell me that, oh, I love that movie. Uh, Virus. Jamie Lee Curtis. The other Baldwin brother. The other one. Not the dopey one. and Not the one that shot somebody. The other one. Anyway, apparently they did an action figure line based on this movie. The movie flopped. The toy line flopped. Everything about this flopped. Virus. The action figure movie line. Forgettable action figure line of the 90s if I've ever seen one. Now here's a gimmick for you. Action figure comes with a water gun. Maybe it was in a water gun that came with an action figure. Anyway, these were Atomic Ranger Warriors. What a name, right? Released in 1994. Again, these action figures came with water guns. Crazy times. Sure, you go out and buy a huge super soaker, or you could buy a water gun and get an action figure. Or buy an action figure and get a water gun. It's like getting two things in one. Who wouldn't want that? And we're down to number one. Number one, forgettable action figure line of the 90s. This is going to be a good one right here. And this is an action figure line called Roar... I knew I was going to mess it up. Roller Warriors. And you're thinking, what is this? Some kind of generic line of superheroes? Or maybe this is some kind of Viking toy line? No, it's action figure line about people that like to roller skate. Roller skating action figures. I, I'm not joking. They really made them. They would also release a line a few years later called Blade Warriors. That was the same figures. Figures on roller skates with a different name. Do you remember that? Did you collect those action figures with skates? Roller blades at that? Whew. Anyway, that's a look at 10. That's right. It was 10. That was pretty fast. 10 forgettable toy lines of the 90s. Let me know in the comments below which ones you remember, which one you didn't forget, or maybe something you think that maybe a lot of people don't remember, but you do remember you like to talk about. Let me know that in the comments also. And what else can you let me know in the comments? Oh, let me know what toy company your neighbor worked for and gave you free toys, prototypes, unreleased toys, all kinds of crazy stuff because every neighborhood has a guy on every street that worked at a toy company that loved to just give away free toys. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Thumb up so I know you like my content. 
subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk again soon. Only 12 minutes? That don't sound right. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>